Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on Immunology and this is the part 1 of the series of videos on Immunology. So let's start the question and answer session on Immunology. So the first question is the first humanized monoclonal antibody approved for the treatment of breast cancer is option A Rituximab, option B Bevacizumab or option C Cetuximab or option D Herceptin and the right one is option D that is Herceptin. So Herceptin is the first humanized monoclonal antibody approved for the treatment of breast cancer. Okay. So let's share some <coughs> knowledge about Herceptin that is Herceptin which is also known as Trastuzumab is a monoclonal antibody used to treat breast cancer and stomach cancer. It is the first hard to targeted therapy for breast cancer. So Herceptin works by binding to hard 2 receptors on the surface of hard 2 positive tumor cells. This blocks the cells from receiving growth signals and flags them for destruction by the immune system. Okay. So this is the first monoclonal antibody that is Herceptin. So let's move on to question number 2. That is which of the following immune response is more potent and long lived? And the options are option A primary immune response only, option B secondary immune response only, option C both A and B or option D none of the above. So which one is correct about the more potent and long lived? immune response and the right answer is option B that is secondary immune response only. So secondary immune response is more potent and long lived immune response. Why? Here we will see a secondary immune response is a rapid and sustained immune response to an antigen that an organism has previously encountered. Okay. So memory B, memory B cell and T cell are responsible for the secondary response. These cells are antigen specific and can quickly and effectively eliminate the antigen. So secondary immune response are generated <coughs> against the previously encountered uh, pathogen or immunogen. Okay. And here you can see this is the secondary, secondary immune response. So here you can see the peak is higher than the primary immune response. So secondary immune response is more potent and long lived. So let's move on to question number three that is secondary lymphoid tissues uh, are option A which one is secondary lymphoid tissue that is option A thymus, option B bone marrow, option C spleen or option D lymph nodes. So which one is secondary lymphoid tissue and the right one is option D that is lymph node is the secondary lymphoid tissue. Now we will see what is secondary lymphoid tissue. Secondary lymphoid organ or tissue these organs include the lymph node, spleen and tonsils and certain tissue in various mucous membrane layers in the body which are known as secondary lymphoid organs and it is this secondary lymphoid organs or tissues is in these organs where the cells of the immune system do their actual job of fighting of germs and foreign substances. So secondary lymphoid tissues or organs give the actual site where the fighting of germs with the immune cells occurred. Okay. So let's move on to question number four. That is the complement system aids the host defense by Option A mediating inflammation, option B attracting phagocytic cells, option C activating phagocytic cells or option D all of the above. So which one is correct about the complement system that is option D this all of the above. So the complement system aids the host defense by mediating inflammation by attracting phagocytic cells and also by activating phagocytic cells. Okay. So these are all about complement system. So let's move on to question number five. That is the complement system act in a option a synergistic way or option 
बी बाय कैस्केट और ऑप्शन सी बाय क्लासिकल वे और ऑप्शन डी बाय म्यूचुअलिस्टिक वे सो द कंप्लीमेंट सिस्टम एक्ट इन अ ऑप्शन बी दैट इज इन अ कैस्केट सो कंप्लीमेंट सिस्टम एक्ट इन अ कैस्केट ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज यूजफुल टू स्टिमुलेट एंटीबॉडी प्रोडक्शन एंड द ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए एडजुवेंट ऑप्शन बी हेप्टेन ऑप्शन सी एंटीसेरम और ऑप्शन डी क्रूड एंटीजन सो विच वन इज करेक्ट अबाउट द यूजफुल टू स्टिमुलेट एंटीबॉडी प्रोडक्शन दट इज ऑप्शन ए एडजुवेंट सो एडजुवेंट an adjuvant is an substance that increase or modulates the immune response to a vaccine so adjuvants help vaccine work better by creating a stronger immune response in people receiving the vaccine okay so adjuvant adjuvant <coughs> useful to stimulate the antibody production okay or immune response so let's move on to question number 7 that is which of the following does not play a role in antigen presentation and the options are option a mhc class 1 molecule option b mhc class 2 molecule option c mhc class 3 molecule or option d all of the above so which one does not play a role in antigen presentation and the right one is option c that is mhc class 3 molecule is not involved in antigen presentation but mhc class 1 and class 2 is involved there so here you can see mhc class 1 molecule are found on the surface of almost all nucleated cells in the body and mhc class 2 molecules are primarily expressed on antigen presenting cells including dendritic cells macrophages and b cells okay so these are role of class 1 and class 2 molecules so next is question number 8 that is opsonization refers to option a antibody mediated viral inactivation option b parasitic lysosomal degranulation option c coating of microorganisms by antibody or complement or option d agglutination of rbcs so which one is correct about opsonization and that was a that one is option c this option c is the correct one so opsonization refers to coating of microorganisms by antibody or complement okay and this opsonization is an immune process which uses opsonins to tag foreign pathogen for elimination by phagocyte without an ops uh, without an opsonin such as antibody so opsonins are antibody without an opsonin such as antibody the negatively charged cell walls of the pathogen and phagocyte repel each other so opsonization or opsonin helps to connect the foreign pathogen with the <coughs> uh, uh, with the uh, immune cells to eliminate or uh, or phagocytes to eliminate those foreign pathogens okay so this is the role of opsonize opsonins and this is this process is known as opsonization okay so let's move on to question number 9 that is which type of antibody is most effective in activating complement system and the options are option a ige antibody option b igg antibody option c iga antibody or option d iga antibody so which one is correct about the about uh, com activating complement system and the right one is option d that is igm is the correct answer so antibody which is most effective in activating complement system that is igm antibody because igm antibody is a polyvalent antibody or pentavalent antibody so that's why it can activate a uh, complement system most effectively okay so let's move on to question number 10 that is which of these diseases is an example of chronic inflammation and the options are option a obesity option b uh, atherosclerosis option c type 2 diabetes or option d all of the above so which one is correct about the 
chronic inflammation and the right one is the option D that is all of these are involved uh, known as chronic inflammation so what is chronic inflammation chronic inflammation is also referred to as slow long-term inflammation lasting for prolonged period of several months to years so that type of inflammation is chronic inflammation which is long-term inflammation okay so let's move on to question number 11 that is which of the following is not a lymphocyte and the options are option a t cell option b b cell option c nk cells or option d dendritic cell and the right one is option d that is dendritic cell this is not a lymphocyte lymphocyte means which are uh, blood uh, white blood cells involved in immune system or immunity so that are t cells b cells and nk cells they are the lymphocytes okay so let's move on to question number 12 that is which of the following antibodies cross the placenta and the options are option a iga option b ige antibody option c igg antibody or option d igd antibody so which one is the correct about the crossing of placenta so which antibody can cross placenta and that one is option c this igg antibody can cross the placenta okay so next question they can get next is question number 13 so the formation of memory immune response is the objective of vaccination so which of the following is the function of immunological memory and options are option a the complement system option b cells bearing pattern recognition receptor molecules option c cells of the adaptive immune system or option d molecules com comprising the chemical barriers so which one is correct about the immunological memory which one is the function of immunological memory and the right answer is option c that is cells of the adaptive immune system okay so here we will see the immunological memory is the adaptive ability of the immune system to recognize pathogens encountered previously and respond effectively upon re-exposure okay so that is the role of adaptive immune system so immunological memory <coughs> uh, helps to produce the secondary immune response that is called the adaptive immune response okay so let's move on to question number 14 the markers of inflammation include option a redness option b swelling option c pain and head or option d all so the right one is option d that is all so the markers of inflammation include redness swelling pain and head so all of these we can see during inflammation site in inflammation site we can see all this redness swelling pain and head okay so next question is question number 15 that is which of the following is not involved in specific immunity and options are option a neutrophil option b t cell option c b cell or option d memory cell and the right one is option a that is neutrophil so which of the following is not involved in specific immunity that is neutrophil but the t cell b cell and memory cell which are involved in specific immunity or immune response to generate immune responses okay so next one is question number 16 mast cell secrete all of the following except option a histamines option b interferons option c prostaglandins or option d cytokines so which one is correct one that is option b that is interferon so mast cell secrete all of the following but not the interferons okay so next here we can see interferons are proteins that are part of your natural defense and they tell your immune system that germs or cancer cells are in your body and they trigger killer immune cells to fight those invaders 
so interferons got their name because they interfere with viruses and keep them from multiplying in your body so let's move on to question number 17 that is autoimmunity develops due to option a loss of t cells option b loss of plasma cells option c loss of b cells or option d loss of immune tolerance so which one is the correct answer about the autoimmunity and the right one is option d that is loss of immune tolerance is responsible for autoimmunity so here we can see immune tolerance also known as immunological tolerance is a state where the immune system does not respond to substances or tissues so this prevents the immune system from attacking the body's own cells tissues and organs so this is all about immune tolerance okay by this the <coughs> uh, body's own cells recognize the <coughs> body's uh, immune cells recognize body's own cells okay so that is the immune tolerance so let's let's move on to question number 18 that is fungal infections susceptible to antibody include option a cryptococcus neoformans option b histoplasma capsulatum option c candida albicans or option d aspergillus fumigators and the right one is option a that is cryptococcus neoformans okay so next one is question number 19 that is naturally acquired active immunity would be most likely acquired through which of the following processes and the options are option a vaccination option b drinking colostrum option c natural birth or option d in infection with disease causing organism followed by recovery so which one is correct about naturally acquired active immunity and the right one is option d that is infection with disease causing organism followed by recovery so naturally acquired active immunity would be most likely acquired through infection with disease causing organism followed by recovery okay so let's move on to the last question of this video that is fusion between a plasma cell and a tumor cell creates a option a nk cells option b tumor cells option c hybridoma or option d lymphoma and the right one is option c that is hybridoma so fusion between a plasma cell and a tumor cell creates a hybridoma okay so these are all 20 questions of this part one video on immunology so thank you for watching this video